Hey, what's up? So in this video, I want to show you guys the best Android emulator for Windows PC. I'm going to show you guys a couple of Android emulators that I actually use and have tested them. So let's start this with the BlueStacks because it is one of the most popular Android emulator out there and it offers different types of Android versions like for example Android 7, 32-bit, 64-bit, Android 9, and Android 11. And it also supports macOS. Let's fire up the BlueStacks. And the BlueStacks that I'm using right now is running on Android 11. This is the highest Android version BlueStacks supports. You know, higher Android version means it will support more games and apps and will have more features. BlueStacks is one of the most popular and well-known Android emulator. And it's pretty good. I'm not gonna say this is the best Android emulator out there because there are many Android emulators out there and every Android emulator has their own pros and cons. But as I said again, BlueStacks is the most popular Android emulator. And one more thing about the BlueStacks is that it also provides you a key mapping presets for almost every game out there. So for example, take this game. Uh, this is a game called Shadow Fight 4 Arena. This is a new game and you can see it already gave me a preset for key mapping so I don't have to do uh, the key mapping manually. This is actually really good and time saver. So for gaming I think BlueStacks is pretty good. You can see the key mapping presets are actually working even though this is a new game and you can always actually customize the key mappings. So I think one of the biggest plus point for BlueStacks why you should use it is that it gives you a presets for games almost every uh, game out there. Now the next Android emulator is called LD Player another really popular Android emulator out there and as far as I know, this Android emulator is actually really, really stable. If you're looking for a alternative to BlueStacks, this might be the one. Let's fire this up. About a year ago, I even did a comparison between uh, LD Player and BlueStacks, and uh, it's actually pretty good, solid Android emulator. In my opinion, this is one of the most stable Android emulator. To be honest, this actually looks better than BlueStacks and feels much faster than BlueStacks. So I'm going to launch the same game, Shadow Fight 4, in this one too. Okay, so it didn't provide me a preset for this game, but as far as I know, this also provides you some key mapping presets for some games, but sadly the key mapping presets are not available for this game. Maybe because it's a new game, but you can always add key mapping just like in every other Android emulator. Now, this Android emulator is running on Android 9, which is a lower Android version compared to the BlueStacks. But as I said, this is the most stable Android emulator that you can use and probably one of the fastest and smoothest Android emulator. I'm not doing a comparison, but this is also the less resource hungry Android emulator. At least it's better than the BlueStacks in my opinion and plus in my testing. As I said, I have done a comparison video between LD Player and BlueStacks. I will actually put a link in the description for that video. You can go there and watch it. Then you'll know why LD Player is actually better than BlueStacks. Now the next Android emulator is called Mumu Player 12. And this is actually my favorite Android emulator. It also offers different versions of Android, but I like the latest and greatest one called Mumu Player 12 and this actually runs on Android 12. Let's fire this up. Now why this is my favorite Android emulator. First this is running on a Android version 12 which is a recent version of Android. Almost every Android emulator out there has Android 9, maximum Android 11 but this one has Android 12. And as I said earlier, higher Android version means it's going to support more games and apps. Not only that, this Android emulator feels really fast. And this was the first Android emulator to introduce a Vulkan mode. This gives you the high performance rendering mode. The game runs with the best stability, smoothness and image quality. And I have been using this emulator for quite some time now. And guess what? This is actually my favorite Android emulator. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the settings. 
this is one of the cleanest Android emulator out there, right? Cleanest. If you go into their settings and everything, you'll be amazed to see how clean this thing is, right? And another thing, uh, this emulator, I'm not gonna say like the best and fastest uh, Android emulator, but if you have a GPU, graphics card on your uh, system, then this is the best standard emulator because this emulator actually uses your GPU more than your CPU, just like a game. Almost every game out there uses GPU power, not CPU. They use tiny bit of CPU, but most of the things in games is done by GPU. Yeah, it definitely feels like it is made for some high-end PC, but as long as you have a dedicated GPU, uh, I think this is the best Android emulator that you can find out there. Uh, I have also done some testing and comparisons in between this and other Android emulators. And what I have found is that this gives you the best quality, image quality in games. If you compare the quality with other Android emulators, you'll find that this emulator gives you better quality. Almost every game in this emulator feels smooth plus high quality and this simulator is actually one of the uh, cleanest plus different unique android emulator you can see how there is no sidebar because there are menus uh, instead of sidebar which makes this much cleaner you just have to click on this arrow at the top all right and it will reveal all the uh, settings menus and all that and even the key mapping option is here at the top so it's easily accessible plus you can create a key mapping just like that like other android emulators right click and uh, yeah this works a little bit differently compared to other android emulators but it is clean super clean so whenever i'm playing some android games i actually use this android emulator this is actually good if you have a high-end pc or mid-range pc uh, you should definitely try Momo Player. It's actually good. Now, the next Android emulator is called Google Play Games for PC. It's still in beta, and I have actually made a couple of videos in this. This Android emulator is unique and completely different than other Android emulators because it doesn't provide you a Android UI. It only provides you Android games that you can download and play. There are some really popular Android games actually, for example, Clash of Clans, Free Fire, Clash Royale, Mobile Legends, Angry Birds, even the Genshin Impact. This Android emulator is built for gaming only. No apps, no nothing. You can only play games that are available here and you can use your mouse and keyboard to control them. They just work. Now the honorable mentions that I didn't include in this video. First one is WSA. This was actually one of the best Android emulator for running apps on Windows. For gaming, it was whatever because it didn't have a key mapping system and all that. But for running Android, apps this was the best android emulator but sadly there is a sad news that microsoft is ending support for the windows subsystem for android which means microsoft is simply killing this feature this is a really sad news for all the windows users out there because uh, when microsoft announced this feature this was one of the most hyped feature you can actually still use this uh, it's gonna end in next year 2025 and if you still want to try this even though it's dying soon uh, i recommend you guys to uh, download this from a github uh, go to this github page it's called the wsa bills i'll put link in the description don't worry and then go to releases and download the custom wsa with google play store yes as you know wsa never supported google play store but there are custom wsa builds which provides you the google play store and you can enjoy all the apps and games next one is another really popular and well-known android emulator called nox player this also offers different versions of android like for example android 9 even the android 12 is here and this also actually supports mac os so if you're a mac user and you're looking for a android emulator compatible with mac yes you can try out the nox why i don't have this because the android version 
12 is still in beta and I have already tested this with the Momo Player 12 and Momo Player 12 wins. Next one, another really popular and well-known Android emulator called Momo Play. This also offers different versions of Android. I think the max Android version that it offers is Android 9, which is really low compared to what I'm using right now. So that's why I'm no longer using this. But this one is also a really good Android emulator plus really popular one. So you can also try this out if you want to. Next one is called Game Loop. This is a official Android emulator for playing some really popular Android games like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty. So this is the official Android emulator for those games. If you play those games, I think you should try this out. This Android emulator is also gaming focused. So you'll be able to play almost all the games with ease using your mouse and keyboard. This is not a good Android emulator if you want to use apps and all that. But if you just want to play games, this might be the best Android emulator out there because it's a official Android emulator for some really popular games like PUBG and Call of Duty. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or uh, if I have missed any Android emulator that I didn't mention in this video, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.